Three, two, one, good to go. Got engine on. Got great time marine lights. Stock ones, using halogens. All right, uh, turn off parking lights. So parking lights. The stock. So the customer on this one's changed the halogen angel lights to the aftermarket LEDs, and they're still using uh, the daytime running lights as a halogen bulb. You can see that uh, it looks kind of weird. Whereas the one side with the module, you can see that there is no uh, halogen high beam bulb turning on. That the angel is actually uh, officially using the daytime running lights function. All right, good to turn low beam. All right, so the stock side is actually xenon. Uh, there's not much we can do about that. That's the car that we're using to test launches on. However, uh, the side we're working on is actually originally a halogen unit. So the output is yellow, but the main purpose is actually the module that's changing uh, the function from the halogen inner gate summary lights to the LED function. Uh, the good thing about the module is uh, you're able to retain your high beam function. So, high beam flash! There you go, high beam flash still works. All right, slowly, stay on I-beam. So this is a bi on stay on. So one more time, bi on stay on. So for the bi -xenons, it's using uh, still the shutter, but however, the lights that we're working with is actually meant for housing unit. Uh, we're actually uh, redesigned it to work for a Xenon vehicle, but uh, since uh, the low beam doesn't have a projector shutter, it's gonna redirect the power to the inner high beam. All right, everything good. Uh, you can turn everything off. All right, leave it like that. So one more time. All right, engine off. Go close view up. So pretty much this module allows this whole function to be functioned the way that we're showing you. And then the only additional modification that you're gonna be doing is which we're gonna be supplying is actually tapping one of the stay on high beam wires to the white wire back onto this. So you can see it carefully. I right, show it right here. So we did jump this wire, which is the brown and yellow wire. We jumped this wire to this white wire from the DRL module. So we'll go ahead and show that in a, a, a bit uh, larger diagram, which wire has been tapped to. But uh, this pretty much concludes the video. Thank you so much for your time.